There are multiple ways to install your Franz filter using the Universal Kit, and the hookup will differ depending on the design of your vehicle. The key elements include having a pressure feed for the Franz filter and a return line back to the engine. Cost for the exact fitment of your vehicle. The Universal Kit, or a slight variation of it, can be installed on any vehicle. The first step in installing your Franz filter is locating a good place to mount it. Being pressure fed allows it to be mounted in any direction, up, down, sideways, or at an angle. You will want to find a location that is easy to access and safely mount the hoses. Keep in mind you will need to have space to remove the canister while changing the filter media. There are several ways you can retrieve the pressure feed. For this installation, and the majority of the Universal Kit installations, we are using an adapter ring between the spin-on filter and engine block. To install this, remove the existing spin-on filter and place the adapter ring gasket side down. Tighten the retaining nut onto the original threads. Screw the quarter inch to eighth inch bushing onto the side of the adapter ring and insert male hose fitting into the bushing. There are several ways you can return oil into the engine. For this installation, we will be using a custom France filter cap. These caps are available upon request at the time of order and allow for a much easier return line. Simply remove your original fill cap and replace with the custom France cap. Screw one of the elbows into the top of the cap, followed by the quick disconnect and male hose fitting. Cut the hoses to the appropriate length and route away from any belts, fans, or hot exhaust. Be sure to route them so they will not kink. Step 5. Connecting the lines. The lines from the pressure feed will hook onto the fitting on the center of the base labeled in. The return line will hook under the fitting on the edge of the base labeled out. Attach and tighten hose clamps over to each of the hose fittings. Once this is complete, start the engine and run to operating temperature to check for any leaks. Shut the engine off and retighten all brass to aluminum fittings.